Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see post init hook in Odoo, how to use this hook and we will see WRI task cache. And in case you missed previous discussion about pre init hook in Odoo, how to use with the real task cache, you can see the link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics, you can visit the playlist. In the playlist, you can see here Odoo development and here different topics also available with real task caches all right and this is the main playlist here right now we are working with the only version 14 and if you need any help related odoo development you can send your query to this email address all right and you can also support this channel using two-way buy me coffee and the paypal plus the source code is also available in the github and we also have a different social media pages you can also follow to get a latest notification all right let's back to our main topic like what is post init hook in odoo and how we can implement in odoo right i'm going to in app store once this module will install automatically after like you have you want to perform some operation in the backend side that time the post init hook will help all right so let's see how you can also implement and if you remember the last session about the pre init hook we have to do the same way only and here you can see custom add-ons we already created this custom new hooks module in the manifest file and init file is available here so first thing is we need to register hooks in the manifest file only so let's say here post init hook and then after colon and here we have to provide the name of the method name all right it could be anything so right now i'm using like this from your side you can also give a meaningful name of the method and that method should be available in the init file all right so don't confuse here and here we have like uh, there is a one main major changes in the pre method and the post method so in the post method we have to compulsory provide two parameters here like one is the cr and another is a register or registry like this this is compulsory and if you will not provide anything here as a parameter it will rise the error then after we will print here simple print statement hello you just executed post init hook method all right let me restart the service restart is compulsory if you are doing any changes in the python side and now this is our terminal here let me clear logs and i'm trying to install this hook module all right now let's say i will try to install this module i clicked already and now you can see hello you just executed post init hook method all right so this method already called and now like let's say if you are trying to upgrade the module you won't be it won't be like this hook or this hook not automatically called by the old itself you can see here let me upgrade the module so you can see here it won't be called that method i mean that hook automatically so it means post init hook method always call while the installation is done uh, for the specific module all right and compulsory we need to register that hook in this manifest file and we have to provide this method here also this is also compulsory one more thing maybe you have a question like why should i why should not i create a new python file and import directly here that is also fine uh, the main thing is if you are trying to create a new python file that that is also possible if you are a oc a contributor so you have to create here a one file name is a hook.py file and that file you need to import here same like this all right so no changes here but compulsory you have to at least import your python file to this main init file only and then it will work otherwise it won't be work all right so let's see here 
in this post method let me execute one query here as a row sql query all right so for that like let me give you one example to perform a specific operation now you can see here this is a text field sorry text field here and this is null right you can see almost all records don't have id uh, sorry text id but let's say you want to perform a one single operation like once your module will be installed then after you have to execute the post init method and in that post init method you have to execute like you have to add a default value of the vat you can use two ways the first one is the raw query and another is a direct orm method you can execute so let me give you the first scenario like how you can also implement the sql query so cr dot execute like update res underscore partner where sorry set then after vat equal to one two three four five six seven eight nine and the zero where vat equal to blank I mean the specific null alright and cr dot commit and now I will try to restart the service first I'm trying to go to in app store let me uninstall this module first and now I'm again going to in app store find that module and finally I will try to install this module and now I'm going to in contact you can see here by default it it will update automatically right you can see so this way you can also do one more thing is you can also uh, execute the ORM method all right so for that in our first session we already executed like we already inherited this partner class and we created a new method which is hello underscore hook it will print this hello hook print statement and it will search all the res partner record and it will print the display underscore name field all right so we are trying to call this method in this init file using this post init hook method so for that we have to create a here a new instance of the environment so for that like i will use here env as a variable name api dot environment and here i will pass as a cr like database record set i mean the database instance name the variable name and then i will provide here the user id i mean here in our case we can use here super id super user id which is odoo bot and we will simple use here the context as a blank dictionary now we are good to go to apply like we can access any orm method like this sorry res dot partner then after dot and let me copy this method and i will call this method directly like this if you remember in our method we are always using like this right hello underscore hook sorry here like this right so here we don't need to use the self because we created here a new environment instance directly here so we have to call directly like this and i will remove this the last line and i'm trying to simple restart the service going to front end side i'm going to app store I'm trying to uninstall this module and again I'm going to an app store find that module and I will click to this install button all right and I'm going to the backend side and now you can see You can see here this is a pre init hook method we already implemented here if you don't know please check the last session and if you see here this is the post init hook method call this is the orm method like this is the 
Arias dot partner models method all automatically with all the partner name here. All right. You can see it like this. So here you can also execute the ORM method like this way. And I hope you understood post init hook method and the purpose, right? If you still have any doubt related this feature, please comment below and see you in next session.